welcome back to my channel. This will be the first time some of you have actually seen my face. And no, I'm not actually video ready. My hair's kind of a mess today. But that's besides the point. <laughs> I am trying to see if this whole vlog thing will work. I thought it might be kind of fun to add some vlog videos to my game channel. I'll do like a whole separate playlist. Um, maybe someday I'll do like a branch off channel, but there's only 24 of you out there. Um, if any of you are actually watching this, hi, thank you. I appreciate all of you. This is also a pixel who I talk about all the time. Hi pixie. Yeah, you're a good girl. <laughs> but when I'm here today, um, so I'm a cosplayer, uh, in my free time, in my work time. I, <laughs> So my friends and I, if you don't know, um, vend at conventions, pop convention, anime, um, just geeky cons. <laughs> uh, we all make a jewelry or uh, signs. Um, T does things out of wood, like wands and things. Sarah wire wraps keys, and I do a variety of different things with charms and chain. So. Yeah, uh, I'll put links to all of our stuff down in the comments below uh, if you want to see it. But what that is leading up to, at these conventions, I always dress up. And one of the costumes I've been doing for about the f past four years is Rey from the new Star Wars trilogy. And uh, it was one of the first costumes I think I made when I started really getting into cosplaying a lot and going to a lot of conventions fairly regularly. And I've worn it in a parade and just to conventions in general and a couple of photo shoots with my dad and one with one of my friends. So it's a costume I really love. I love Ray. Hi, Pixel. And I'm constantly improving on it. So I have her lightsaber. I have, um, I painted the uh, blaster that is actually the, um, the toy gun, what, whatever. It's not like the official one that'll actually fit in uh, the holster or anything, but I like it and dad and I painted it. It was a lot of fun. And then um, I am on a Ray cosplay group where I have actually gotten the wristband that's in real leather and it's absolutely beautiful and way better than the one I made and a new belt. And so I've just been slowly piecing piecing it together. It's a very expensive costume to do all of the official pieces and I'm still not even trying to get like Rebel Legion is like the the big deal. The like like the 501st when you're in that you get like scheduled to go to events and stuff and there's a whole bunch of rules to follow. I'm I have no intentions at this point to actually try for that. All of my cloth pieces I made myself, I tea dyed. It's They're not perfect, but they're comfortable and I like them and I have a lot of fun wearing it. And it's mostly just for fun uh, for me. That's, that's really all it is. I go to enough conventions and events. I do not need to be part of a bigger group and I'm sure there's a ton of rays. But, <laughs> hi. So, my newest piece I just got in the mail today are the boots. Ray's actual boots. So the boots that Disney Ridley was wearing in The Force Awakens were from the Pozo Company. I believe they were called Pipers at the time, but they have since rebranded them and made Star Wars Pozo boots. And they're expensive. I mean, as far as boots go, they're not that expensive. I got them on sale and I think I paid $157 for them, which is, I think they're normally 160 pounds and I got them for 115 pounds. So whatever that exchange rate is, I, I mean, 150 for a good pair of boots and apparently they're super comfortable, which is what we're going to find out today. So I ended up getting the size 40. Can you see it? Pixel, can you move? Whoa! I got the, I don't know if you can see all that, size 40, I wear eight and a half shoes. We measured my foot uh, in millimeters to figure out the size that I needed. And according to what all the other girls said, so they're 
these are US 90, they're also boots and I can wear socks and stuff. The other reason I wanted these is my family and I, my mom, my dad, and my aunt are going down to Disney for Galaxy's Edge in May. So I'm gonna go Disney bound as Ray and wear my fancy new boots. So let's get a get our first look. What do you think, Pixel? Dude, I love, I love the box that says Star Wars. Alright, so paperwork, blah -de blah blah blah. Okay. So the paper, when you first open it, has the Star Wars pose thing on it. Oh my gosh. They're beautiful. Look at the pixel, you quit trying to eat my boot. So it's got the laces in the back. It's got the little rebel symbol here. And I believe it says the Star Wars Pozo on the bottom. And I thought there was like another spot, but Pixel, will you quit? <laughs> Alright, so there's there's one boot. And here is the other one. It also has the rebel tag. These are so cool. I love them. Alright, well. Let's try them on. Right. So here are the boots. They are a little bit big. Um, my toe is about here. Um, like I said, I usually wear about eight and a half. Um, somewhere between eight and eight and a half, and I ended up with nines. Um, but I would rather them be too big than too small, especially for something I'm going to be Wearing around, walking around in a lot, like Disney World or conventions or stuff. So yeah, that's how they look on. I love them. I'm so wearing these just all the time. I did hear someone mention that you need to kind of break them in before you wear them all day to the parks or whatever. Ah, so there's my boots. I feel like a nice, good, comfy, warm winter boot. Um, that's going to be fun in the summer. Um, and the, the soles are like clouds, <laughs> so I keep bouncing around. They're very comfortable. Wow, these are, these are nice. So, there you go. There are my Ray Cosplay boots. Super excited. I'm going to cut that tag off. So, if you enjoyed this quick unboxing, I guess, uh, of these boots, if you would like to see me dress up in my Ray costume or my Disney bound uh, to check, see any of that or um, get any ideas. I can totally send you uh, links to creating the costume pieces. Um, I'll put a link to the Pozo website in the description below if you want to check out these boots yourself. These are a thousand times better than the Walmart knockoff Ugg boots that I've been wearing, uh, which don't fit at all, and have zero sole. Like, they're the most uncomfortable boots I have ever walked in a parade while wearing. So, <laughs> these are going to be so much better. This, this sole is so thick. Look at that. That whole thing is under my foot. It's amazing. And here's the next step of my raid journey. I'll see y'all later. Let me know if you liked this video, if you would like to see more. Um, I'd like to do more vlogs, but I can't always think of anything to do for them, and I'm kind of a private person, but I feel like I should branch out a little bit more. So if you want to see more of me, my little face, um, I do get bark boxes for my dog. Um, we can always do unboxing videos with her. She's long since run outside, so she's not in my lap anymore. She's barking at the neighbors. So, uh, yeah, if you want to see any unboxings, sometimes I like ordering boxes in the mail. Uh, I haven't gotten any in a while other than the bark box, but I've been watching some other YouTubers doing unboxings, and that would be kind of fun to do. Or just stories about my life. Uh, if you want to know more about our Disney trip, we are officially planning that this weekend, so... I'm giving you more info on that and maybe vlog a little bit while we're there or even some info on the conventions uh, when we go what we're doing or the jewelry that I make I can I can totally uh, put something 
together for a jewelry making thing. If that's something you're into, I don't know. It's all stuff I'm into, but I don't know if you all are. Um, cosplays, conventions, jewelry, crafting, pixel, <gasps> pixie pie. Say hi to the internet, pixel. Yeah, you're adorable. <laughs> Just let me know uh, anything in the comments down below. I appreciate anyone who watches this video. And I will talk to you all later. Toodles!